Uh, okay, guys. <sighs> larger than life. He's larger than life. <laughs> However large life is. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the channel. And this is going to be part five of the Mercury 4 build. And at last, the wings. I'm looking at the wings. Um, let's bend you down a minute. Now... I've got two wings, as you know, one's got sheeting on, this one hasn't. Um, the one that's got sheeting on is going to need a bit of repair work, but before I start ripping sheeting off, if I decide to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to get on and sort of get this one sheeted up. Um, it's got a bit of a twist, but that's not a problem. Uh, it's had some leading edge sheeting stuck on which is rather odd because there's no sign of it having been stuck here um i think it was just a short piece actually because it i don't know it's weird anyway so i've got a got a piece on the front here i've got to remove uh, i think there's a, there's a broken rib down this end got to repair the ribs themselves are proud of the trailing edge that one isn't. No, these are okay. Now that that one's come unstuck, which is a good sign really, because in fact they're all unstuck, or well, a lot of them are. So it's a good sign because they're not flush with the bottom of the trailing edge, and I'm not sure they ever will be actually. Because, oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on. I'm being silly here, there's sheeting to go on on the trailing edge or on the top surface. Okay, and cap strips on the bottom. It pays to look, doesn't it? So I've got to, uh, incidentally, this is why I'm not going to put clear covering on this sort of reason, unless I end up stripping this all off. Which would be a shame because it's, well, it wouldn't actually, you've got crack here crack here, horrible join, horrible repair. I think this part of the sheeting is going to have to come off and be replaced. I did have an idea to do what I did on the fuselage and that is to spray the whole wing, say white, before I cover it if I decide to cover it white. I haven't given up yet on the idea of Gary uh, had a, um, another, a comment on the last episode. Why don't I cover it in clear yellow? Uh, I'm not sure clear yellow is gonna look too good actually, Gary. Uh, clear red maybe. But to do that, I've got to do substantial remedial work on these wings. So okay, just going back to this other wing then. I've got sheeting on the bottom. So I need a 16th rebate on the trailing edge. Which I have got. Got 16th there, but not there. Although I think the sheeting on the top goes right down over the top, so yeah, so the top one sixteenth sheeting goes down all the way down to the trailing edge. The bottom one sixteenth sheeting is rebated. Isn't it good to be working on the wings now? That has to be rebated. It's full of horrible old dead glue there. Look. I think this wing is going to need quite a bit of work before I can start looking at. I mean, <laughs> That's not too clever, is it? Can you say? Looks half a broom handle in here, that. Why is that there? Why is that like that? Why does he use that? It's not even level with the surface, look. It's no wonder that, you know, things all over the place. This rib is straight. It needs to be concave. As does this one, really. So that's not going to do at all, is it? So that's going to have to come out. That can come out, that can be shaped, that one can be shaped, it's actually convex. Um, 
I'll go over every single joint. There you go, not too bad. I haven't found one yet that's moving. So quite a bit of work to do here, guys. But the basics there, that's the thing. The basic wing is there, so I, when I come, I'll go over it and then I shall pin it down. In fact, there's a built-in, if you turn it around, you'll see it more. Like, there's a built-in uh, washout. The, the main spar curves up from this point here. The lower main spar curves up. So the wing tip has got this sort of little sticky up bit at the end, really. Although it's not going to be obvious because the top curves down. So when I do this down to there, I'll have to be pinned down to there or weighted. And then I'll put something in there to get it equal. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to look at this. I'm going to glue ribs where they need to be glued, shaped where it needs to be shaped, and then I'll come back to you. At last, the wings, eh? Fantastic. Fantastic. Fuselage is all done now. I've put a... I've put a... Put the cables down through. Put the rudder servo in. And... I've made up the glazing for the pop-off window. Put the dashboard in, that looks nice, you can't see that. Okay, okay then guys, so I'm gonna go and play with this wing and then we'll, perhaps it won't take as long as I think. Hopefully not. These wings sometimes do though, don't they? So, see you soon, bye. I've cleaned off the lead and edge surplus wood. So now I'm just looking at these ribs here before I detach too many of the trailing edge spars. I think this one needs to come out and I'll replace it with a uh, proper rib, I think. So let's just get the saw in there. That was well glued on, wasn't it? So what I've done, I've taped up the ribs I don't want to sand and left the ribs I do want to sand. The reason you do that is because you want to you want to sand it but not sand through the good ribs. And that's how you sand ribs to shape without damaging everything else in between. Now isn't that pleasing? Look at that. Isn't that lovely? So we'll just get that lined up with those ribs there. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to CA that in. The wing is repaired enough now to uh, start sheeting. I've carefully sanded the back and replaced that rib there, which was missing. Glued a couple extra ribs here and there. Sanded things into place. I've sanded the trailing edge a little bit to give it a bit of a key. Now I've got two lovely pieces of wood here, which will go for the, the leading edge. So they're going to go on there. Although I've got to make the width up, unfortunately, half an inch. So they'll go on there, but they're the right length safe scarf and the joint in and I've got some 16th here uh, that's a lovely hard bit which would be rather fun to put there especially as it's amply long enough to do the job The underneath of this isn't uh, sheeted, it's just cap stripped. There we go. First piece of sheeting, and that's going to go there and there. Like that, there. Now it's just a case of weighing it down, pinning it down, getting it stuck. Okay, 
There we are. So we'll leave that to dry. It's weighted down. I can cut the next piece while that's drying. Don't see why not. And get that on. So there we go. The back piece is pinned on, glued, of course. So we'll let that set overnight and then I'll take it off tomorrow and trim it up and we'll put the sheet in on the front using these two beautiful pieces, four inch by one sixteenth by 48 inches. I've got on there a treat. Excellent, good. Okay guys, welcome back. This is next day, so let's have a look at this. If you're enjoying the video, hit the old um, thumbs up button. And uh, YouTube will promote it to all and sundry. Every non aero modeler will get the uh, video. Anyway, here we go. So let's just take off some of this stuff. Take off the pegs. Pegs, pegs, pegs. Take that off. Foot. So I'm clean shaven, by the way. I got fed up with it and took it off. Pegs there. Get those off. Those off. Those off. Okay. Let's have a look. It feels a lot stiffer than it did, that's for sure. Turn it over. Just making sure that the sheeting is down onto the ribs. It certainly looks like it is. No gaps there. That's good. bad. I've fitted this piece now. It's tapered and made and everything else. So that's going to go on there all the way along and then drop down there to there. And I've got half the main spar showing for the cap strip to go on the top and the rest of this is going to be sheeted. I always like doing the middle bits actually. That's going there. And what I'm going to do is put a couple of rubber bands around once it's in place, as well as pegs. Okay, rubber band. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to put that one across there. Move it down to there, like that. And then I've got some pegs. Make sure there's nothing lifting here. So I think that's one of the problems on the other wing. There's a lot of um, the ribs just aren't glued to the sheeting which could work in my favour if I decide to remove this sheeting. Okay, so that will do. That's that leading edge on. Uh, we'll let that set and I might just play with this bit before I turn it over and do the bottom bit. Hopefully not too much of the glue has uh, dropped down but underneath the ribs it's pretty much 95% stuck. So yeah, there we are. That's looking really nice. I mean, Really, that's looking really nice. I'm really pleased with that. So I just spent quite a few minutes fettling it just to get it fitting really nice behind that leading edge. Um, because it's not worth rushing it and filling it with glue. So that's fitting nicely. And yeah, I'm really happy with that. This wing actually is coming on a lot faster than I thought it would. Um, you know, hours wise, obviously it's spread over a few days because I'm doing one sheet per day really but when you look at this let me turn you down look he's got a big lump of filler here because it was low and it's low because it's got a big split in it it's got a big split in it there so he stuck this someone has stuck a piece of wood on there to but they didn't even get the split that's just terrible that bit of wood's not even 
sitting on to both si equal sides of the split. It's not even stuck on that side, but of course, so it's a big hollow there, so it's been filled with this. And this is what was on around the uh, nose, if you remember, and it's really hard. You know, so what I'm tempted to do is to take it all off, really, but because that's low there. That bit's not too bad. This bit is low. I don't know why. Can't see why because it's, it's inside the wing. But split there, split there. Why it's split really? Because it's it's not that uh, softer wood. It's reasonably hard wood. Mm, reasonably. Just drinking hot chocolate from my Baron Flights mug. Mm. He's a lovely fellow, is old Nick. Right, now it's next day and we're going to have a look and see what we've got on this wing. They call me Two Camera Cliff. Two Camera Cliff. Thing is with two cameras, with the little camera, with you, I can get a better, um, it's a more of a wide angled lens so you can see what's going on but it does mean uh, quite a bit more editing lining up with the uh, sound but I think it's worth it because it gives you guys a chance to have a better look <sighs> lovely I'm not drinking chocolate, I'm drinking tea. So we'll say tea biscuits, please, please. A lovely cup of tea. Cut the rubber bands, pull those off. Let's put those in with a peg, shall we, for a minute? Right, let's have a look. What have we got? What I'm looking for is any daylight under these ribs. I can't see any. It looks rather good actually. So there we are. That's the leading edge on the top part. So now I'm going to look at the bottom sheet. And I want to make sure all these, that rib looks a little bit high, as does that one. So I want to make sure they're all the same height. And then I've got a piece of four inch. Again, I'll have to extend the trailing edge. Possibly, possibly not actually. There's a reasonable amount of wood that's fitted there. And that's fine. I'll save a job. Then I can just shoot right up to that area. So I'll do up the little bits of cleaning up that I need to do and when I've got the sheet sort of cut to size I'll be right back. Right, I've tailored this piece of wood. I've had to add a bit to the back, a little bit to the front here because things aren't quite parallel but we got there in the end so I'm now going to glue this in there like that. One of my subscribers, Gudgeon, in Iceland, said this is his favourite free flight aeroplane, so I have to do a good job, but he's building a fantastic Dave Bollington Barnstormer at the moment. I think it's nine, 91 inch, something like that, for a four stroke, which I've got sentimental reasons to like, because that was the first model radar control model that I built. Uh, Dad and I wasn't that big, it was the 60 inch, something like that. <clears throat> Tissue covered and 
white tissue that was. <laughs> right, let's get that wood on while it's where it all runs away. Here we go. Just want to scoop some onto there while it's still there. looking pretty good um, all right what we'll do we'll let this set and when it is set I can pop it off the board and then start working on these center sections and also the cap strips the main thing when you're doing a wing like this is you want to get it you're aiming to get it as flat and level and straight as possible which is why I've got these pieces of wood in the same place all around and supported so I know it's flat another thing you want to do you want to get this lead nose sheet in, in the right place not rely on um, not, not rely on sanding it to shape because you're going to sand it very very thin here where the uh, where the uh, the wood needs it it's going to go very very thin if I start sanding it and it'll just your fingers will go through so we want to get it down into the correct place as soon as sand bits of the lead and edge off and the sheeting yeah that looks okay so there we are that's the next piece on so the wings um, that's all the sheeting done actually so when that comes off, I can put the cap strips on. And when the cap strips are on, um, I can start sanding it all to shape. Still got the center section. Still got the center section to make, which I would have done by now, but I kind of got carried away in the wings. Sort of forgot about that really. Uh, but anyway, that's a separate structure. And um, Yeah, making good progress. So I'm going to go and edit a bit of video now. A bit of rubber powered helicopter video. You guys haven't seen that yet. Um, but it's going to be good fun. Removing wing from board. Well, guys, it's had overnight to dry so let's take a look and see what we've got all right that's looking like a wing a pretty straight wing as well which is rather good got the center section to sheet but also got the cap strips to put on so it's as broad as it's long where do you start there's also a tip some tip sheeting to go on as well looking at the other wing from that rib and it goes in a nice arc like that okay it's going to go in there going to make sure the um wood is fixed to the rib and not up in the air so I should do that with a little pin
it's worth scraping off the surplus because it's going to make the sanding harder if you don't. Actually, it doesn't need to be glued on there because it's only the very point that needs to be glued on. So I'll scrape that off. This is where the other builder or the other repairer, I should say, has gone wrong because he didn't make sure that was as flat as it possibly could be. And that's pretty good. So we'll let that dry and then I can cut that shape into it. Um, I can move on to the wingtip maybe, or just leave this for a little while to set off and come back to it. It's got a little bit of editing to do, so I could leave it for a little bit, couldn't I? It's been a couple of hours, so let's pull out these pins and, and uh, cut the shape into the wood. And the shape is on this piece of paper. So all I need to do is to cut that shape and we've got the same shape as on the other wing without. There's nothing under this, so I've got to sort of go gently. Okay. That bit got glued in there, that's okay. We'll lift that out. Okay, that's the rough shape. Obviously it will clean up. So I've got cap strips to cut. The cap strips are 1 16th by a quarter. I could cut a few of those and drop them on, couldn't I? Or 6.5 millimeters if you prefer. So there's four strips out of that one straight away. Okay. I'll cut the first one in there and Cut them slightly over length because then you can sand them to perfect fit. And if you should cut it slightly over length, then it's going to, uh, sorry, under length, then it's probably going to fit. And a little tip is if it doesn't fit in one, move it along a little bit because you might find that it tapers. But what you're looking for is it just to hold itself in like that. And that's perfect then. Let's put extra glue on the ends because it's end grain for the rib. That's a bit mean. I've got a little surplus there, so I'm going to pinch it off, put it in that end grain. Then we're going to put that in there and in there, making sure it's central on the rib. And if necessary, which it isn't, a pin in it just to hold it. And I shall use the surplus there, just on the end grain of the next one. So that's one, guys. So I'm going to continue with this and fit a huge amount more. And here we are, guys, back next morning. And things are dried. So let's get some of this off. <laughs> so that's looking all together quite a nice wing I'm excited to get it all off here here we go this is what I want to look at doesn't look like it's all the way down but yes it is okay so we have a wing what's left to do on the bottom I've got a wing tip to do and cap strips Oh, and the sheeting on this end as well. The other thing I want to look at is this curve, isn't it? On that edge there. Should we just quickly cut that out? What are we looking at here? We're looking at... It's almost a dinner plate curve, isn't it? I wonder if it is. Um, 
Do you know what? I'm just going to get a plate and see. I'm curious. Have a look, this small one. Oh, look at that, it's absolutely bang on. All right, then. <laughs> Shh, I'll put this back later. Oh, no bit there. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Is it going to come off that rib? Not too worried about that because there's a cap strip to go on there yet. In fact, here it is. There's the cap strip. So, okay, one nice wing. Look at that, fantastic. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to sort of. I know I haven't got the centre section uh, made up yet, but I just want to sit the other wing beside it to get a feel of the span, just for a bit of fun. Uh, I'll allow, my god, it's huge. I'll allow for, uh, what's that sitting on? I'll allow for the center section, which is quite thick. It's about that. Um, just put a weight on there a minute. Stop it falling off the end. Oh, look at that. Well, you can't see it all, so I'm going to dismount the camera and you can have a look. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, come out okay that wing. Just finish off the sheeting on the centre section and tip and cap strip it and that's that wing done. And then all I've got to do now in the next video is going to be sorting out this. And the reason that's cracked is because it's probably soft soft balsa. Or just clumsy handling it might repair but this is a horrible area i might just cut that out completely and scarf a piece in as with the this look at this <laughs> looks like he's just mixed up some filler on that doesn't it i'll just mix some filler up here um yeah so it's it's uh all the joints are gone cracked uh where are we So not too good, not too good at all. So needs a bit of repair work, but that wing, well, it won't take much to bring this wing up to scratch. That wing is looking rather smart. So it's now the smarter of the two wings. There we are then guys, thanks very much for watching. We'll stop the video here. You get the gist of what's going on. Um, we'll continue, I'll finish this wing off in, um, off camera and we'll crack on with this wing. For the start of the next video i've also got the center section to build of course and that's going to be pretty straightforward i'm thinking so touch what it will be and thank you very much to my channel members your support is very much appreciated uh, it really does help to fund the channel and pay for all this stuff so thanks a lot and i'll see you all in the next video and i'll link it at the end here as soon as it's done. Cheers guys, bye. Bye 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 bye. Cheers, cheers. So we'll look at that. It's <laughs> the trouble with these big wings. So the big wing knocked the tail plane of this stunt model. The tail plane uh, knocked the clock. The clock fell over and knocked these stacks of boss wood. Which to be honest shouldn't be here but they are. Uh, no damage done, but is the clock still working? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs>
not working because the battery's flung out. And the accident happened, Your Honour, at exactly 7.17. So, I'll find the battery, I'll get it going. Oh, there it is, look. Oh, there we go again. When I build a model, I tend to work in a bit of a mess. Right, okay, let's pop that in there. Yeah. Yeah. And put it back up. All right. So we'll leave it there for tonight and we'll come back to it pretty soon. Cheers.